You said uh, you give props to the Jets' defense, which rightly so, but your defense isn't doing too bad itself. Yeah. Number one in sacks, interceptions, quarterback pressures. How great is it to have someone like Brian Flores on your staff and uh, how far do you think his defense can go? Yeah, I think, um, you know, when when we decided to bring Flo in, he was the guy. He was <laughs> somebody that um, I had kind of identified even before I got an opportunity to get this job, and it just didn't work out at the time. Um, but you know, the idea of having coached against his defenses before and just the, the mental stress you're under as a coordinator on the other side, trying to prepare your guys for all the looks that you may see. Um, it is snap in and snap out, uh, in some cases, chaos and takes a lot of, uh, you know, we got great coaches in this league. And, and one of the main reasons I wanted Flo to be coaching our defense is so I didn't have to coach against him anymore. Better with um, you than against you. So. Exactly, exactly. So... I think Flo's done a great job. Um, the scheme is one thing. The player ownership of that scheme and how Flo and his staff coach it is a, is a totally different thing. Um, the connection he has with those players and just how on game day, sometimes it feels like, you know, you're kind of handing the keys over. Uh, you know, my, my, kid, my oldest isn't old enough to drive yet, <laughs> uh, but in many ways handing those keys over uh, to a, a, a first-time driver in that opener. And these guys um, are now ready to, you know, maybe we buy them a nicer car week in and week out here and they can take it for a spin because they've owned it. Uh, they've been incredibly uh, aware of the things offenses are trying to do. And I think that's the year one to year two jump, but then also the fit of all these new players um, that Quasi and, and his staff working in conjunction with Flo and myself really identified to have an immediate impact. And it's shown up still incredibly early. We still got to go do it on a week in and week out basis playing, uh, you know, one of the best quarterbacks to ever do it this week. So it's going to be a challenge for sure. Can you talk about just how well Sam Donald um, Obviously, the big story around this game is that Sam Donald was at the Jets, but of course you were at the Jets as well under Rex Ryan. Um, you played with uh, Antonio Cromartie, San Antonio Holmes, Durrell Revis, Mark Sanchez, the Dane Thompson when you're there. Do you often reflect on your career at times like that and use it as an advantage as a head coach, whether that be dealing with, there's some personalities in that list say, you know, dealing with them personalities, dealing with different organizations. How yeah. that made you grow as a coach? Great, great teammates. You know, you just mentioned all those guys. Um, look, why, why I ultimately, you know, wanted to get into coaching. Um, well, there was really two reasons. When you're a player and you have enough people tell you that maybe you should think about being a coach, uh, they're telling you something. It's, it's, it's pleasant for them to say that to you, but they're also telling you that you're probably not good enough to play. Um, but at the same time, um, I just talked about my love of this game and from being um, loving this game from being a very, very little boy. I, I just can tell you that this game means everything to me, uh, what it's done for my family and I and, and what it's done, just the relationships forged through uh, such a unique, special game that football is. Uh, but, yeah, I constantly, whether it's my time in New York, uh, which I really, really enjoyed. It's a phenomenal organization, great ownership. Um, great fan base, but also New England and, and just the journey that I was on. Um, the ultimate reason why I feel so strongly about getting an opportunity to be a head coach in this league is I get a chance to have an impact on players and do things for players, uh, build something that they can be proud of, that they love being a part of. And uh, I do believe, you know, when you win and do it that way, uh, it'll it, it makes it that much more gratifying to win football games and know that you're doing it on the doing it the right way every single day and that these players love one another and they love being Minnesota Vikings. Very, uh, very excited about this opportunity. Sam, have you contacted anybody uh, within your peer group or about games in London beforehand, before coming here and what to expect and what to expect the crowd to be like as well? Yeah, you know, we, uh, you know, we talk about it here and there about, you know, what the crowd's going to be like and, um, you know, the different jerseys that might show up in the crowd and, um, you know, just how loud it might be, like not knowing if we're going to have to use cadence or maybe go, maybe go on the silent count um, on a couple third downs, maybe in the red area. So, um, you know, that's that's always something that we're kind of cognizant of and that we've been talking about. Hi, Justin. You were on the show this year, The Receiver, uh, on Netflix. How, how was that for you? Did you enjoy it? Um, would it be something that you'd be open to be doing that sort of star program again, whether it be, you know, all or nothing? Or yeah. Yeah. The Netflix series was pretty cool, honestly, uh, just for people to kind of see the behind the scenes of uh, how my family is, you know, how I am in game situations, um, you know, how I am off off the field. So uh, I feel like it was a great opportunity for people to really see, uh, you know, who I really am off the football field. Uh, but I mean, the whole experience, 
uh, I felt was pretty cool, just uh, especially, you know, me getting hurt and having to go through that process of getting back on the field. And, uh, of course, the contract talks after the season mm -hmm. and all of that. Uh, so I feel like it was it was a pretty cool situation to be in. Um, I mean, but it's, it's difficult to kind of agree to that before the season because you don't know how the season is going to go. You know, it could go worse for you or it can, you know, be the best season that you ever had. Uh, you don't really know, but I'm, I'm glad that I – I had that opportunity to, you know, say yes to doing it and uh, for people to, to see, you know, how my season went. Well, I'm curious to know, 